guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. How are you doing? So first of all, guys, I'm so sorry if there's a glare on my glasses. I slept with my contacts on last night. I know, I know it's really bad, but I had forgot about like me wearing contacts and I slept with them. And so now my eyes are super irritated. So it's glasses for today. So hopefully it's not going to be too distracting. Also, we have Hudson in the back per usual. He's taking a nap, so he should be good throughout this video. Um, but today we're going to be doing a haul it, but how was it? I did a poll on YouTube asking you guys if you would like to see individual reviews over each product or a haul it but how was it video talking about all the products and of course you guys said that you wanted this one I'm not going to be mentioning any of the products that I hauled that was in my monthly favorites video because I did mention a lot of favorites that I had hauled um, so if you want to see that video first go ahead and watch it I'll have it right here in the cards and also listed down below because like I said I'm not going to be mentioning anything that I put in that video just because I already talked to you guys about it um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video so it's not too long, so let's go ahead and get started. So first we're gonna start off by talking about the skincare that I've hauled recently. So the first thing I have here is this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. And I've only tried this about four times and I've really been liking it. It kind of reminds me of my Shiseido Gentle Cleanser, except it has more refreshing ingredients in it, so it makes my face feel really fresh in the morning. And so Recently, I've just been using this in the morning and my Shiseido one at night, but so far, I'm liking it. Next up for skincare, I hauled these Philosophy Purity Made Simple Wipes during the 21 Days of Beauty because they were half off, and I've really been liking them. They're a really good wipe. They're not too wet, which I hate when wipes are too wet. They're just, ugh, it bothers me, um, but they're just of the right amount of wetness, and they're really good on the skin. I have sensitive skin when it comes to wipes. They don't burn my skin skin or anything like that um, but I don't know if they're worth the price yet just because they are more pricey than just drugstore wipes and I feel like I could just use those but so far that is what I'm thinking about these wipes okay and last but not least I had hauled this triology rose hip oil that I got for gratis from work because triology is a new kind of skincare brand that we have at Ulta but basically it's just a drop oil of rose hip it smells really good. I've been using it at night in replace of my Sunday Riley, so I'll use this and then the next day I'll use the Sunday Riley one. And I've just been kind of switching them off and so far I haven't had any bad reactions with it. I have it broken out. It does really hydrate the skin. I don't think it does much for like scarring and things like that, but I feel like it really soothes the skin and hydrates. So, so far I'm liking it, but I don't know if I'll repurchase just because I don't feel like it does a lot besides hydrate my skin. And so I'm just going to keep trying it out and see what I think after I finish the whole thing. Okay guys, so I don't have any foundations to mention in this video just because I've already talked about all the foundations I've hauled in other videos. So we're just going to jump into concealer. So one that I've recently hauled is this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and I have mine in the color C6. And recently I've really been liking it. I do feel like I need just a little bit of a lighter shade, but I would have to jump all the way to C2, I believe. So it's pretty light. So I just went ahead and kept this color. I'm going to try out this color until I finish it. And then maybe later on, if I end up liking it, I'll go ahead and purchase the lighter shade. But so far, it's a really good concealer. It's about medium coverage. You can't really build it up to full, even though you put a lot or I put a lot and it doesn't go all the way to full. Um, a lot of people were saying that when I bought this that it was a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. And I do not agree with that whatsoever. I feel like it's completely different than the Tarte Shape Tape besides the wand applicator that's pretty similar. Everything else is pretty different. Recently, I've tried the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I've only had this for about a week, but if I had to say this was a dupe for something, it would be a dupe for the Laura Mercier one. Just because this um, Makeup Revolution concealer has more of a glow and it's about medium coverage and it has about the same finish as the Laura Mercier. So if anything, it's a dupe for that one, but it has like, it's totally different than the Tarte Shape Tape. I have no idea why people are saying that. Also, I've watched some reviews over this and people have been saying that it's hard to blend out and it dries fast. 
but that is not the case with me whatsoever. I literally put it all over the face and blend it out and it doesn't dry too fast on me. That does happen to me with my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer because it does dry really fast and I have to like put it in one section, blend it out, and then put it in another section and blend it out. Um, but with this one, I don't see the case. It's not drying whatsoever. I can literally put it all over and blend it out all at the same time. But so far, I've really been liking it, especially because it's a drugstore concealer and I feel like all drugstore concealers are stepping up their game and it, this is only like seven dollars so it's super affordable you could find this on makeup revolutions website and also ulta.com and in store next up i have another concealer this is the it cosmetics full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer this is the bye bye under eye from it cosmetics and it does have full coverage it is really anti-aging and it basically does everything that it says I've really really been liking it so far it has a really pretty glow and recently I've been using it with my other concealers because you guys know I love concealer and I have to layer it on because I have so much veins under my eyes so usually I'll use like about two concealers and recently I've been liking this one to use as like my correcting concealer so before I even apply my foundation I'll apply this then my foundation and then another concealer on top. I have tried this concealer on top of my foundation and I don't like it. I feel like it's a little too tacky and glowy and when I put powder on it, it kind of cakes up. And it's just not a very good concealer to like highlight the whole face with. I feel like it's more of a corrector and it does cover really nicely so I've just been using it as a corrector on its own because if I use it on top of foundation I just don't like the tackiness cakey feeling that it gives but if I apply this first and then my foundation and everything it doesn't seem to have that effect on my skin I have no idea why but I did mention in the haul that I didn't used to like this at first because it was very thick and cakey but when we had our training at Ulta for the IT Cosmetics event the IT vendor had mentioned that you had to really warm it up in your fingers to make it a thinner consistency and then apply it and ever since she told me that I've been loving it and I apply it just like how she said I'll warm it up in my fingers and then I'll just apply it as my eye corrector and then just do my regular base things that I would do and so recently I've really been liking this and I feel like this is a really good color for me it's not too dark and it's not too light and so I've just really been liking it and it's in the color medium like I said and under it, it says light to medium but I feel like some of them don't always say that I don't know maybe they changed the packaging I have no idea okay guys so moving on to powders so the first powder I'm going to talk about is this Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder and I have mine in the color 10 Fair Light Slash Claire. This is what the packaging looks like. It's just your basic loose powder. Oh my gosh, guys, I've really been loving this one. I feel like it's my favorite lately. I've just been gravitating towards this powder every single day. And the reason I like it is because I could use this to bake my face and I could also use it under my eyes. And I feel like that's not the case with most powders. Usually it's either too dry under my eyes and I can only use it on my face or I could only use it under my eyes and it doesn't do much for my face. And the fact that this does it for me and it's drugstore, I've been loving it. And it's a perfect color for me. Now, um, this is not considered a translucent powder, so they do have different colors. Um, I just picked this color because it's more yellow toned and I wanted mine a little bit lighter and so I went ahead and got this one especially because the darker shades are really really dark I feel like their shade range is kind of weird it just goes super dark out of nowhere um, but I just love this under my eyes it makes everything really smooth I have it under my eyes right now and so what I'll do is after I'm done blending out my concealer I'll go ahead and just dip this sponge into the powder and then buff in the powder that way and it just gives such a flawless look under the eyes and then I'll go ahead and just bake the rest of my face with it today I only have it under my eyes because I have another powder on my face because I kind of wanted to show you guys both so yeah, as for the Maybelline Fit Me, it's totally worth the money. If you're looking for a really good drugstore powder, I would definitely recommend that. I love it more than my Cody Airspun, just because that one I can never use because the scent just bothers me so bad. If you don't know, it smells like old lady and I just, I can't deal with that on a regular basis and I'm so glad I found this one. It literally has no scent whatsoever. 
Okay guys, so the next powder I'm going to be talking about is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Luxury Baking Powder in the color Lace. And I picked this up because Casey Holmes was raving about it here on YouTube. And I actually thought this was a light banana color. Like I thought it was the banana color just lighter. But it's actually not. If you look at the actual powder, it looks like more of a yellow with some peach in it. It has some peachiness to it. And so, yeah, if you didn't know that, that's what color it is. Um, but I love this powder to bake the face. It's really, really good at baking the face. I feel like it actually has more pigmentation than the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I feel like this one is more of a translucent powder. Even though it's not considered a translucent powder, it reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier. Um, so that being said, the Makeup Revolution has more pigment to it, so I feel like it shows up brighter on the skin. But with that being said, it doesn't do that under the eyes. So it's not very good at brightening under the eyes. I've tried setting my concealer with this powder multiple times, and each time I've done it, it's darkened my concealer drastically, and so it does the opposite effect. Instead of brightening under the eyes, it makes my under eyes look really, really dark, which I don't like. It did set it pretty nicely, but I do feel like it's a little bit drying, especially compared to the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like it's way more drying on the skin, and it also darkens your concealer. So I haven't been liking it so much under the eyes, but for the face, since it has that really high pigment to it, it's really awesome at carving out your contour and also baking your pores. Now when I do bake this on my face, I don't leave it on for that long. I literally like put it on and then I'll go ahead and buff it away. Maybe do a little bit of my eyeshadow, but I won't do my full eyeshadow look with this on my face. I could do that with the Maybelline Fit Me one, but if I do it with this one, my face will get a little bit too dry. So if you have oily skin and you haven't found a powder that's really good at controlling your oil, I really suggest this Makeup Revolution one. It has a lot more in the actual packaging than the Maybelline Fit Me, and I believe it is cheaper. But yeah, as a baking powder for the face, this is awesome, but not so much under the eyes if you're looking for a good brightening powder. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to mention this primer before we started jumping into the makeup. But this is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Primer. And I also heard about this from Casey Holmes and also Mama Mia Makeup here on YouTube. She's not really a makeup YouTuber. She's more of a vlogger, but that's just her YouTube name. I love her. She's completely hilarious. I love her so much. Um, but she mentioned that this primer um, was the only primer she could use and it wouldn't break her out. And she has very like acne-prone, sensitive skin. Now, I'm not going to lie. This has been in a recent haul so I haven't tried it for that long but I do have some first impressions that I want to let you guys know about it so it does go on the skin very smooth it's kind of like a silicone based primer and yes I'm back to using silicone primers I feel like that wasn't the reason for my breakouts because I was still getting the same clogged pores without silicone as I was with silicone so it's just too hard to avoid silicone so I went ahead and just went back to my usual stuff um, but I wanted to try this out. Like I said, it's more of a silicone based primer. It's clear. I thought it was going to be more like the professional and have some tint to it, but it doesn't. It's just completely clear and it's really good to use all over the face or you could just use it in your T-zone if you want and use like a more hydrating primer like everywhere else. But I have noticed that it does um, help my foundation last longer. Um, it doesn't really help with pores once you put it on like you don't really see a difference But once you put your foundation on top, you can really see that it is kind of helping you Camouflage those pores so so far I've really been liking it and it was a part of my drugstore full face that I uploaded Monday If you want to see that video I used basically all the drugstore stuff that I'm talking about in this video on that makeup tutorial and it's like a festival inspired makeup look so if you want to see that I'll have it right here in the cards but yeah so far so good with this it hasn't broken me out so I'm just gonna keep trying it and see what I think of it okay guys so moving on to eyeshadow so I hauled these quite a bit ago these are the dose of colors ideal duos and I bought these during the 21 days of beauty as well because they were half off so they were only 15 instead of 25 and I'm not going to say much about these just because I have used almost every single one in a makeup tutorial. I will have some linked down below if you want to see them in action. And I'm not going to swatch them either just because I swatched them in all the haul videos 
and the videos that I talked about them. But so far I've been loving them. They're totally worth the money. I feel like I would even buy them. Like if they came out with new colors that I really liked, I would even buy them at the full price of 25 just because they're really, really good products. They're so easy to use. I'll just grab the primer side, put it all over the lid, and then dip my finger into the pigment and then put it all over the lid and it just makes a super quick smoky eye. I even have a tutorial here on YouTube of my quick bronze smoky eye. I will have it right here if you want to see it and I use the color sticks and stone in that makeup tutorial. But yeah, so far so good with these. Okay, so next up for eyeshadow, I have this ColourPop eyeshadow and it's the Super Shock line and I have the color Set to Sun which is this really pretty purpley holographic color. It's so beautiful. Nothing much to say about this just because it's the same formula as all the other metallic Super Shock shadows from ColourPop, but really been liking it. So far, so good with that. Okay guys, so last but not least for eyeshadow, I have this Makeup Revolution Self Palette. This is what it looks like. And oh my gosh guys, I have been using this in so many makeup tutorials because I really wanted to test it out and try out each color for you guys. And so far I've tried out most colors in this palette. And oh my gosh guys, this is totally worth the $15 that it costs. So this is $15, you can find it on Makeup Revolution's website and also Ulta. Um, and Ulta is just where I got it because I get my discount because I work there. But the mattes, oh my gosh guys, the mattes are so good. So when I first dipped my brush into them, I thought they were going to be more like the Anastasia modern renaissance kind of formula. Just because when you dip your brush in there, it does have a lot of kickback and I would always tap off my brush. But recently, I've just been putting it in, not even tapping off my brush, and it's not the exact same formula as Anastasia Modern Renaissance, just because when you do do that, it doesn't give you like a giant blob on your eye and you have trouble blending. It doesn't do any of that. You could actually blend it out really nicely, even if you don't like tap off your brush, um, just because these are not as pigmented as Anastasia. But that being said, they're still really pigmented. They're just not as like, powdery. I don't know how to say it because it, it does have kickback, but they're easier to blend than the Anastasia ones. Maybe that's how you're supposed to say it. Yeah. They're just easier to blend. So if you do put a little bit too much, you can blend it right out and it's no problem. So I really love the mattes. As for the shimmer metallic shades, they are so good as well. I've used a lot of them dry on my makeup tutorials, but I've also tried them with Fix Plus. And of course, with any metallic eyeshadow, it looks better with Fix Plus. But these look really good dry on their own as well. I really love this like vanilla color right here. It's so beautiful. I love it for the inner corner. Every time I do a makeup tutorial with this eyeshadow palette, I use this in the inner corner as my inner corner highlight and also under the brow and it's just an amazing color. But so if you're looking for a really good eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, I really highly recommend this palette. The only thing I don't like about it is that they don't have the shades on the palette. So I threw away the little plastic thing because I'm not keeping that. And I don't want to like keep it in here and like ruin the eyeshadows because sometimes it like could stab the eyeshadows. So that's like the only con I have with this palette. But other than that, it's so good and I really recommend it to you guys. Especially because it is limited edition because it's a collab with another YouTuber if you don't know. Um, it's a collab with this girl named Soph here on YouTube and Makeup Revolution, so it's not going to be on the market for forever. So I would definitely get your hands on it while you can. And right now they even have Ulta's 20% um, off coupon out right now. If you don't know that, you should totally take advantage because they're doing their 20% exactly when the Sephora VIB sale is going on. And that is only 15%. And I think the Ulta one is way better because it's 20%. So if you're planning like to buy stuff at Sephora that you could also get at Ulta. I would just do it at Ulta so you could get your 20% off and get a bigger discount and then I would just get the Sephora exclusives at Sephora because obviously you can't get those at Ulta. But yeah, really highly recommend. Okay guys, so let's talk about eyeliner. So I recently hauled these. They were a part of 21 Days of Beauty as well. These are the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliners. So basically the only one I would actually recommend to you guys is the black one. It's really, really black. It goes on really nicely. It's really pigmented. Um, I really like the black one. 
As for the colored liquid liners, they have a totally different formula than the black one for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, but in the haul, if you guys seen that video, I did get a blue one and I returned that crap because I could not make it work. It was not pigmented. It looked like you just got highlighter and put it on your eye. I did keep two of them though. I kept the dark brown, which is the one I'm wearing today. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera that it is brown, but it's just a dark brown. It looks really, really pretty on the eyes. I love it for like natural looks and I want to do like a bold lip like I did today. The only thing I don't like about it is that um, sometimes you have to build it up and when you build it up, it kind of balls up and takes off the other eyeliner that you already had on. And it's just so super difficult to work with. And so I wouldn't recommend it, but if they're on sale, I would go ahead and jump on it just because they do work. It just takes some time to get them to work. So if you buy them on sale, I think it's worth it. But if you buy them for full price, I would just stick with the black one and not get any of the colored ones. As for the white, I love this one. I love the way it looks on the eyes. I actually have an Instagram post um, of a makeup look that I did using this white eyeliner and I love the way it looked. It just looks so spring and beautiful. But like I said, all the colored ones are really hard to work with. I find myself having to layer this up just to get it as white as it can be. Um, it doesn't crack though. I know a lot of people say that the NYX one is good but that it cracks really bad. This one, you won't have any cracking with it and it will last but you just have to build it up and like I said, the felt it's kind of hard to work with because it kind of balls up. And then also, if you're using the white one, I don't know if you guys could tell, but mine has color on it. So if you're wearing any eyeshadow, even your foundation will get on the white one. So I find myself having to clean it a lot. So like I said, I would buy this if it was on sale, but if I were to buy it full price, I wouldn't think it was worth it. Okay guys, I only have one highlight to talk about. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek pearlized finish highlight in the color Flexitarian. And if you guys saw my first impression over this product, I tried it and I was so sad because it was too light for my skin tone and I felt like I was gonna have to return it because it looked very ashy on my skin. But that being said, I decided to keep it because I was like, oh, you could always just use it on your eyes or like in your inner corner. And so I just kept it. And then I was experimenting one day and I had used another highlight. And then I just placed this on the very tops of my cheekbones and the very highest points of my face. So not all over, just on the very tip top high points of my face. And it just looks so good. It amps up any highlight that you already have on. And it just gives you that extra pop. So if you're my skin tone and you just want something to add to other highlights that's gonna make it really, really pop, I really highly suggest this, but if you're my skin tone and you just want something to use on its own, it's a little bit too light, so it's going to look a little too ashy on you, and I wouldn't recommend it, but girl, if you're fair and you don't own this, you need it in your life. You will blind all the haters, because I know it's so hard for fair people to find a really good highlight that actually blinds people and shows up on the skin and it's not too dark, so I really highly suggest this one. It's basically just a white with like foilness in it basically. It's a little bit gold but not much. It's very very light but I have been using it in like every single makeup tutorial so if you want to see it in action just watch one of my makeup tutorials. Like I said I do have a video that I just uploaded using all my new drugstore stuff, a full face makeup look so I'll have that link down below. Okay guys, so I only have two lip products to talk about. I probably hauled more, but I honestly just can't remember which ones I've hauled. But these were really recent, so I thought I would talk about these. So the first one is a gloss. This is the Urban Decay High Shine, or no. This is the Urban Decay High Fi Shine Lip Gloss. And I have mine in the color Back Talk, which is this really pretty mauve color. It's so gorgeous. I use this in my full face of first impressions as well. So if you want to see it in action, I did put it on the lips in that video. But these are just such a great formula. I really want to pick up some more. I just haven't had money. Um, but I really want to pick up, what is it called? Midnight Cowgirl. I've been wearing that at work a lot. And also Fuel. That one is just so gorgeous. So if you're looking for a really good plumping gloss that's not as strong as like the Buxom ones or the Too Faced, these aren't really 
really strong. They're just kind of minty. That's it. They're not very plumping on the lips, but they're not sticky whatsoever. Your lips just kind of roll off of each other. They're really comfortable. And so, so far so good with these. Now, a new liquid lipstick that I just got in one of my recent hauls. This is the NARS, what are they called? Power Matte Lip Pigments. And the color Get It On. And it's just this beautiful nude color. I love it so much. I literally want to grab this every time I do my makeup because I love me some nudes. And this is just the perfect color. It also has like a weird applicator on it. It's very pointy and hard, but it makes it super easy and simple just to outline your lips with, which I love because that means I don't have to use a lip liner and it's just quicker to put on. And so far, I've just really been liking this. If you're looking for a really good color from the NARS lipsticks, I would get the color Get It On. It's just a perfect nude for like my skin tone. It's not too light, it's not too dark. I really want to try out some other colors from the line just from trying this one. And I dropped it. But yeah, I feel like I do want to pick up some more colors. More of the berry colors I feel like would be really pretty since I already have like the nude. But yeah, so far so good with that. Oh, am I done? I'm done. Okay guys, so that is everything I had to talk about today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I'm not sure if you guys are gonna like this video or not. So I really need to know because I do plan on doing more hauls. I feel like I've been doing a haul every single week on my channel, which is good because I love hauls and you love hauls. So it's just a big happy family. Um, I just recently picked up a whole bunch of other stuff from Ulta and I also got some gratis already. So I'm probably gonna film another haul tomorrow so let me know if you do like this video so I could end up doing a haul dip but how was it for that haul and yeah if you have any questions about any of these products that I mentioned leave it in the comments down below also if I hauled something that I didn't talk about in this video or my favorites video make sure to let me know and I'll totally talk about it in my next one and yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe before you leave. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you do like haul types of videos, like I said, I do them every week now. And so yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.